surveillance solutions must be installed and used in a responsible manner. In many places around the world, both in the public and private sectors, there are rules and regulations from local and regional authorities, as well as trade unions, concerning video surveillance and privacy. This is Matthew Mead and this video will highlight how Access Camera Station and Access products can help you meet both the demands of providing a surveillance solution that protects property and people, whilst also respecting privacy. The most simple way of protecting privacy is to apply a static privacy mask, which is a standard feature in Access Cameras. This can be used both indoors and outdoors, and in situations where there is a defined area of the camera view where you have no need or right to monitor, such as a neighbouring property, or in this case, an employee's workspace. Once applied within the camera, the static privacy mask permanently blocks a selected area from view. Since the mask is burned into all video streams from the camera, live and recorded, there is no way to unmask it. Sometimes the requirement may be for privacy masks to be enabled and disabled depending upon the activity on site. Within Access Camera Station, action buttons can be created to control privacy masks. These buttons can be controlled by an operator to enable or disable the mask as shown in this example. Privacy masks can also be automatically activated by timers or via external triggers, such as the setting or unsetting of an alarm panel. This can allow masks to be applied when staff or personnel are present and removed out of hours. For PTZ cameras, blocking specific views is especially important, given their ability to zoom in on details over long distances and their wide area coverage. In a PTZ camera, static masking is fixed to the camera's coordinate system, ensuring that the masking is maintained in the same area of the scene, even as the camera's field of view changes through panning, tilting and zooming. Newer cameras support mosaic or pixelation for the masking area. With mosaic masking, you can see any activity in the area, but you will not be able to identify any details. As with the static mask, once the mask has been applied, it obscures both the live and consequently the recorded video. Dynamic masking is available using the Axis Live Privacy Shield application. The license-free application, which is installed on your Axis camera, offers two methods of dynamic masking. Motion-based, which will mask all moving objects in the scene, or AI-based masking, which can be configured to mask either just humans or just faces. Within Access Camera Station, you can actually record both a mask stream and an unmask stream. This can allow authorized users to view video that is not masked for forensic purposes in case of an incident. So far, we have looked at technology that masks video content as it is created, but another requirement is the need to mask individuals and areas in the recorded video before exporting and sharing the video material. The video redaction function included in Access Camera Station allows you to do this in an easy and intuitive way. You can, for example, mask the identity of specific individuals in the recorded footage before exporting the material. User permissions can also be applied within Access Camera Station to limit a user's functionality. A user configured as an operator will have access to both live and recorded functionality, whereas a user configured as a viewer will be limited to viewing live video only. Further restrictions can be applied, such as removing access to specific cameras and views, and removing functionalities such as taking snapshots and exporting video. Finally, a feature within the incident report function allows an operator to export video to a network directory path that only a manager has access to, and they do not. This can be used as part of a procedure that ensures that all exported footage is authorised by a manager of the system and not the operator exporting the footage. All of these features can ensure a solution is used responsibly, respects privacy, 
and can still provide surveillance functionality. I hope you found this video of interest. Thank you for watching.